It takes a few steps for the flamingo to take off. It takes a few steps for the flamingo to land. But it takes a huge leap of the imagination to believe that every year 20,000 flamingos choose to come and stay in Mumbai. A city already packed with 14 million people where thousands of dreams are born, some in the glorious technicolor of Bollywood and some in the tightly packed compartments of the trains Perched on the western coast of India, Mumbai lies on a thin finger of land sticking out into the Arabian Sea. It's a city of proliferating slums and burgeoning high-rises. A city that is built on the easy irony of contrast. In the midst of all this chaos lies Sivri Bay, off the mouth of the Tarni Creek. It's in this bay that the flamingos choose to spend almost eight months of the year. It is possible their journey to Mumbai begins from Kutch in the state of Gujarat. They ignore hundreds of kilometers of clean coasts and land in a bay that is surrounded by a fertilizer factory, petrochemical industries, a power plant, and a shipyard. But this isn't a story of a flock of birds returning to a habitat that was once pristine and is now polluted. In fact, the first sighting of hundreds of flamingos was reported in 1994, when the bay was already industrialized. Since then, their numbers have been ever increasing. So why would they choose such a polluted spot? Probably because the flamingo's brain is actually smaller than its eye.